Well, hi, how you doing? Battle King here for the second tutorial of my little Blender tutorial section here. Well, uh, first I thought I should introduce you with the whole interface, but you won't understand anything here, so I just let us live away. Well, we just jump in the, the application and start mo uh, modeling uh, an object, and I'll explain the most important things you should know to modeling your first object. So that's the default scene of Blender. Always when you start Blender it should look like this. Um, and now you may think, oh my god, I can't do anything. I just fucking can't do anything. I have no idea how it works. So I tell you, don't worry, I had no idea too when I started with Blender. So well, the first thing I wanted to learn you is to rotate your view. So with the mouse, you can with the middle mouse button. So I hope you got one of these round things in the middle of the mouse. You know, if you press that in, you can scale the view. You see, good. Well, now you think. Man, I want to do something with a cube. How the hell do I do that? So if you press G on your keyboard, so G for grab, you know G grab. <laughs> uh, you can grab your object and drag it anywhere. So with a left mouse click now, you would um, leave it there where it is. But if you press the right mouse, it will get back on the place where it was before. See? So you, you grab it and think, oh my god, where was it before? I don't want it wanted it to move. So you just press right mouse click and it gets back. So with S on your keyboard the S you can scale your your uh, object. So scale means to change the uh, you see what it does. I, have, I don't have to explain that more. You can scale it a fucking hard. There you see. It's a really big object now. Really cool object. Oh my god, I could a bit closer, come on. So we got the normal cube back. So if you do a change you don't want, you, you just oh damn. So you just scaled it and thought, oh oh no, I just wanted exactly the same position of the cube as before. Press Control and Z, so we we'll, you will get a step back. Scene. I just press Control Z and it jumps back one scene. So that also works if you've done many jumps and you want to get back all of these. Just Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, and you got the default cube. Good. So now we got grab, scale. And the next one I want to show you is rotate. So you press R on your so R, I mean R, sorry. Um, you press R on your keyboard, and you will be able to rotate your object. It depends on which direction you're looking to uh, to rotate it. It also it always rotates on the direction you view. So that's a nice. Nice things you've learned until now. You're able now to grab your objects, to scale them, to rotate them. And if you've done anything wrong, you can jump back. Just jump back as often as you want. Oh my god, you see, that's the big cube. <laughs> well, now, next thing is you see, my cube got one of these orange lines around it. So the orange line marks that object that is um, marked. So you can, you see now we don't have a marked object. You can mark your camera with a right click on it. Now the camera is marked. Now I move the camera. And that's the lamp. Now I marked the lamp. Now I can move the lamp. The cube, the camera. Of course you also can rotate the lamp or camera. You can scale the camera and also the object. No, 
No, the lamp you can't. Scalable lamp, okay. Well, um, so far to these some cool options. Play around with them, get handy with them, and we'll see us in next tutorial. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you very soon.